As soon as we uh, received phone calls from the uh, U.S. Coast Guard, we activated our emergency operations center. In the I can see the tail set. You see the tail section sticking up. As part of the team that, that supervises this harbor uh, and maintains this harbor, the Army Corps of Engineers works closely with the Coast Guard and uh, the New York Police Department uh, for any kind of accident that happens uh, in the Federal Navigation Channel. Um, you know, our district, having lived through the tragedy of 9-11, of uh, is trained and ready to respond to these types of emergencies. And you can see that uh, within an hour of the accident here, we're on site and we're responding. Uh, and uh, other of, others of our work boats are on their way now uh, to assist in the operation. It feels uh, very good that we have the capability and, the, and, and most importantly the people uh, that are trained and can respond to these types of operations. And you know, in the, in the, at the district level, uh, just like in the Army, we're always trained to move to the sound of the guns. So anytime you have an emergency like this, it just uh, we move out, be part of the team that can help uh, recover. Uh, from this accident. Very heading out for the crash site. So what help do you need? You got everything you need? Tom's giving you everything So you need? far we got so everything we, we need. Got everything. Us. Are, are we thinking through shift work? I mean, who's staying up tonight? And who's, I mean, you got what, three all crews here. all standing here, right? Yeah. It feels real good when you can help people.